Welcome, Internet, to a short look at Melty Blood Actress Again Current Code. This is the Steam release of this game, a very high anticipated release by the, uh, well, the big fan following this game has sprouted. Here's a little bit of the intro. Very neat. But we are. Uh, well, I might as well let it ride, I suppose. I'd rather not talk over this, but uh, I'd also rather not get some sort of copyright strike or whatever. So, sorry. But, uh, yeah. This is available on Steam. And, uh, yeah. It's a pretty good game. I'm having quite a bit of fun with it. Uh, here it is, developed by French Bread and published by Arc System Works. Who has who have published or are planning on publishing quite a few games of their uh, let's say not uh, you know current saga like um, Guilty Gear and all that. So let's just jump right in, and well, we're gonna start it with a bit of arcade, and I'm gonna play with my favorite character or the one at least that I'm trying to learn in this game, Rakia. And here you see one of the cool things about this game, it has, there are uh, different styles. Half Moon's, Maraki is actually in the way, so let's pick something else, here we go. Crescent Moon style, Full Moon style, and Half Moon style. And see, combo focused style, shields last longer, includes dodges, I have no idea how to dodge. Uh, reverse beats. One hit power style, that's the one that I use with Varakia, includes shield counters and simplified controls, includes auto activation, blah blah blah. All of that sounds very difficult, but at the end of the day, if you are not willing to go uh, full ham, basically, <coughs> on learning all of the intricacies of the game right at the beginning, you can actually have quite a bit of fun with this game. You'll see it because I'm actually pretty bad at this game, or at least I. If I were to see someone play the way that I'm playing it, I'm so gonna pick the. Uh, I would think that I'm actually pretty bad at that, or that person is pretty bad at the game. So we have some plot. To think she was to be rumored, or the Tatari occurred within without the old me. What is the Tatari? It's a stage jack, okay. He has crafted place and we're being assaulted by the stage itself. Okay, buddy. That's one of the fun parts. I'm gonna play a few stages. And uh, you can see that I have played this game for a few days. I think two or three. And I can already do stuff like, you know, no combo like this. It's not as hard as it looks, really. I mean, it is obviously hard to... If you want to go for Crescent Moon style, because the Crescent Moon style, as it said, is more combo focused. But you can go for the simplified controls or whatever and still have a lot of fun. Yeah. Bam. So there you go. I've also been playing fighting games for quite a while. So I know the uh, a few other things. I'm also screwing this up because basically this one might might look like a somewhat difficult combo, it's just me pressing three buttons. That's it. No real timing actually. In fact, the timing is such that you have to press them very quickly, or you have to press them in a quick succession, and that's me finishing them off. I win. Excellent. So there's not much to say, I'm just gonna go into a few, uh, a few arcade matches and then I might pop into some online to see how it is. So the game is relatively new, or at least the Steam version is. Not a lot of people are playing it yet, online, but it's pretty fun. I get my ass handed to me because most people are really good at the game. But I still have fun, just like Rakia, who is basically laughing himself half dead. He's having so much fun, I love it. Oh dear. 
It's also interesting how the uh, moves are displayed on the right side. So that tornado is fumble code, apparently. Accident. Also, I like how the, the colors make me look like Alucard from Symphony of the, Symphony of the Night. So that's why I picked them. Nah! No, Tono, please stop that. Uh, the game has a lot of mechanics, so basically if I do this, you have to... Uh, after I do that, this, I have to cancel it with a jump, meaning that I basically... Instead of cancelling with a move, which is, you know... What you should, what you learn in fighting games, you cancel with a jump. Huh. Many fighting games have the jump cancel as well. But if there's one thing that Melty Blood does take off is that it's not a game for the uh, fighting game beginner. Meaning that if you've never played a fighting game before ever and you don't know s uh, some of the basics, then the game will not actually explain them for you. So. Uh, it's not, it's not a fault of it, of course, because basically, uh, uh, since the game has never has never had a... Uh, I, I should, have, should have actually checked where exactly the game has been released, but I think it was just console, maybe? Or maybe it's only arcade, I don't know. I, I'm very, uh, very poorly informed with this. Maybe I will actually scrap this whole recording, but I'm not sure. But what I was saying is that basically there's a lot of stuff online. A lot of stuff. That you that can teach you how to do these combos. In fact, I know this this jumping combo from a, from a from a video I've seen of someone playing a pro Varakia. And hey, if the professional does this kind of combo, I do this kind of combo too, why not? There's also a, com uh, a counter mechanic here, as you can see. Come on. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Nope, that didn't work out. Eh, I don't know how that works. There's a lot of stuff that you can do in this game. Dodges, counters, special meters, the special, special modes that you enter. It's pretty interesting. I just wanted to show off that there is a Steam version in case that passed you by, which I don't think it had, if you're a fan of this series. Here's some silly plot, and with silly I mean that I have no idea what they're talking about at all. It's, it's one of those ominous anime plots that basically they're saying a lot of stuff um, that, uh, that you would only understand if you know at least a little bit of it, but since I don't know anything, these are talking about dead apostles and ancestors and revivings and I'm, I don't know what the hell. Yep. So let's just fight here. Let's just fight good old chaos and then we're gonna end it and play like maybe a match or something. Oh, online. He's a bit, he's, uh, he's putting up more of a fight than the rest here. Also, interesting thing to note is that kind of, kind of similar to, I lost. Damn, kind of similar to Mortal Kombat X. If you pick a different style, then the uh, then the moves that you do are actually different. For example, Warakia, if you put him in, um, in Crescent Moon style, oh dear. If you put him in Crescent Moon style, he will actually uh, summon like Black Claws or, you know, do uh, do that kind of... Uh, do it differently, do different moves entirely. So that's pretty interesting. Not every character has that, but almost everyone does something different depending on the style you pick. Even the even the normal moves, the one that you do by just by pressing one button, can sometimes be completely. Many times are completely different to uh, depending on the style you pick. Gotcha there. Ah. Oh dear. Please don't. Nope. Oh god. No, the floor is lava. The floor is lava. There you go. Ow. Ah. Can I please, please end this? 
Also, he has the most amusing name. Never to screw. Nope. Let's end it with a tornado. That didn't work. Let's try it again. Tornado. Excellent. And we win. We're just gonna skip ahead and return to main menu and see if I can pick up a quick network game. So you basically it says something like Steam Cloud Synchronization. Let's just pop into a ranked match. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not the Veloc person. And it's the Veloc person. God darn it. Oh my goodness, he has that gun. He has gun seal again. Oh dear. Why must you do this? Don't skip it. And here is future Andros with some, well, post commentary because I was pretty silent in this entire exchange. Knew that I was trying to concentrate. This uh, seal, uh, powered CL, or uh, however you pronounce it, does a bit of a number on me. I don't know what the, uh, well, uh, if, if if the character is just powerful or everyone I fight who plays this character is good. I don't know, but. Uh, they always manage to put a dent in me, so yeah, that happens. Ow! Uh, so I'm trying to basically fill in a little bit of a color commentary. There, I'm trying to hit him, hit her with tornadoes or accident, as uh, Varakia puts them. And she tries to zone me. I thought this was full screen, but it isn't. It's only partially, so I learned something. Ow. I'm making little breaks in the uh, post-commentary, so that uh, if I ever did say something... There I managed to not convert it, sadly. There's, there's, there's a very tiny bit of delay, but it's just enough so it doesn't affect the fight completely. Well, probably partially due to the fact that I'm not that amazingly good at the game anyway, but, you know, it's okay. It's okay, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely much better than the one that I fought before. The, 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 the match that I fought before with this very guy, which is why I start the, uh, the matchmaking with a little song saying, maybe not the Veloc person, because the Veloc person did kind of lag, but now the Veloc, uh, this per particular guy is not lagging. Also, I am absolutely terrible at dealing with long-range missiles, but I'm terrible with dealing pretty much everything. I kind of know how to block. There, for example, I could have gone into Blood Heat. Blood Heat would have regenerated the entirety of my red health there. But, uh, I, uh, kind of didn't. So that's something that happened. Here, I grab her, do the tornado, and bam. Keep attacking, buddy. I see keep attacking because he got hit because he was attacking me. Otherwise, he would have not gotten hit by a tornado. Oh, come on! I grabbed you, too! Well, I say I grabbed, but while I was doing it, I realized that I did the grab wrong. Because if you don't actually press a direction while pressing two buttons at the same time, which is the grab, you just do a, a block. And, well, a, a parry. So, uh, yeah, that was my bad. That's why I got grabbed. But I didn't know she was gonna grab, so you know, that's something. There, I managed to mess up the super, sadly. Ooh. Also, you might, you might see that there's like... It's, sometimes it says invalid next to the hits, which means that the enemy could have prevented the combo from happening by j uh, dashing. There, I actually wanted to do a heart attack, but... Uh, for so or wanted to press C, and I pressed C to do that, but the uh, game decided not to. But uh, what I'm saying is that sometimes it says invalid, which means that the enemy could have prevented the combo from continuing by recovering, by doing like an air recovery, but they didn't. And so we lose. Well, I lost. So that settles a short look at Melty Blood. Actors again, current code. See you in the next one.